Today out on the farm, I've got something a little different than what I uh, normally take out here, and that is this Chinese SKS. Uh, now, I've been looking into SKSs for the better part of a year now, and uh, this one is on loan to me just to sort of uh, wanted to see how I'd like shooting one. Um, I've shot some uh, Norinco uh, AKs, you know, the Mac 90, and that's a fun gun to shoot, but uh, really, like, I like, I don't know, there's something about an SKS to me that just, you know, screams, hey, this is a gun for you. Um, I, uh, I don't hate a uh, fixed magazine. Like, I don't hate, like, this, right? Like, I think this just looks cool. Um, at the end of the day, I mean, this, like, I think would be a, a pretty cool uh, truck gun. Um, or a uh, sort of in the same vein as keeping a 3030 uh, nearby. Uh, you could keep an SKS, which shoots the same uh, diameter bullet as a 3030. Now, hunting ammo, of course, is a little hard to find, but there's a ton of this, uh, you know, cheap steel case uh, 762 by 39 Even during, you know, the height of the uh, COVID ammo scare, um, you could still find 762 by 39 in a lot of places. Um, and, I mean, Ruger uh, Chamber is one of their Americans now in 762 by 39 um, So uh, it's a real uh, formidable hunting cartridge for... Uh, especially for the eastern United States, very woody area. Um, so that's kind of my goal here. I would really like to take a deer with, a, uh, with an SKS. Um, and so we'll look into that maybe this year and, uh, you know, in the fall. Uh, may have a cool video for you on that. Um, of course, finding uh, soft point uh, hunting ammo for 762 by 39 sort of presents its own challenge. I've seen it out there, but uh, it ain't cheap, um, especially compared to the other uh, deer hunting uh, cartridges that uh, I use, which are 3030, 270, and 243, which, um, you know, it was a little hard to find during uh, the great ammo scare of uh, 2020 through, you know, what's today? 2023. Uh, it's, it's a lot better than it was, but um, uh, still kind of hard to find some specialty stuff. And when you do find it, again, you, you really got to pay for it. Um, but what we're going to do today, I've got a splatter target set up at 50 yards and then a steel plate set up at 100 yards. We're going to see how well I shoot this thing. I've only shot, I've only shot one box of ammo out of it, um, and that's been a couple weeks ago. So uh, I'm still kind of new with the SKS uh, and kind of iron sights in general. Um, folks have asked me, is this the first time you ever shot iron sights? Whenever I did my uh, uh, Winchester 94 video. And no, it's not the first time I've shot iron sights, but I'm still, uh, you know, pretty new with uh, iron sights, especially in high-powered rifles. Now, 22, I, you know, shot those for forever, but um, with uh, with more, you know, high-powered uh, rifles, yeah, I'm I'm not the best with iron sights. Uh, it's easier to use a scope, but I'd rather learn to read iron sights and uh, challenge myself a little bit. Anyway. We're going to take a couple shots at that target 50 yards down and, uh, and then do a review on those, see how it shoots. I believe this shoots pretty high. I'm going to aim center mass at the you know red right in the middle, um, but I'm expecting it to shoot pretty high. And I've got my rear sight lowered uh, all the way on this, so we're just going to see how it uh, works out. Stick around. So again, we're going to take some shots with this Tula steel case, full metal jacket. 762 by 39 and we're just going to do five the, the magazine of course holds 10 but um, I don't like just blowing through all my ammo um, I can take my time shoot five at a time and really still have as much fun now this one you can use stripper clips on it I don't have any stripper clips uh, if I had an SKS of my own I, I might decide you know, to buy those, but again, I like to take my time sometimes. And yes, I am shooting this left-handed because um, I tend to shoot better with iron sights left-handed, and I am left-handed. Uh, I shoot shotguns uh, better left-handed, uh, iron sights better left-handed. Um, with a scope, especially with a bolt-action rifle, uh, I mean, I tend to do better right-handed, you know. There's no real rhyme or reason to it, and uh, your results may vary. But let's take five shots at 50 yards 
on our silhouette target. And one of these days I'll get a proper, uh, a proper rifle rest or a proper uh, shooting table. But here we go. Okay, that's a, that's a smooth shooting gun, man. That's um very mild recoil. I, I'd compare it to 30-30, yeah, absolutely. Maybe even less because you've got, you know, the bolt coming back that takes care of some of the recoil for you. Um, but let's go down and take a look and see if this thing's still shooting high like it was uh, the last time I shot it. Kind of surprising. It uh it kind of shot pretty much where I was aiming. The low and left. That's that's just me, of course. Um, but I was, I mean, the, uh, my iron sights were aimed right around here because I was expecting it to shoot high, but, um, kind of shot right there. Um, okay. Well, that lets me know that it's more or less shooting point of aim. I mean, these down here, again, learning to read iron sights, so, uh, don't rip me apart too bad. But we're going to go out to 100 yards, see what we can put on the, uh, on the steel plate. I mean, that 50-yard group was kind of garbage. I mean, we can agree with that, right? So, if I can get most of these on at 100, I mean, I'd call that successful. You guys, uh, I mean, don't make the assumption that I'm making these videos claiming to be whatever expert over anything or any type of shooting. I'm not. But uh, instead of just me coming out here and shoot, I'd rather come out here and shoot make videos and let you guys look at them right okay eight inch plate at 100 yards chinese sks let's see that's a miss it's a miss let's see if i hold a little under it Nope. A little over. That last one got it, of course. <laughs> All right, let's load up five more. I said, this is all for fun. This is only the second time I've shot this rifle, so. All right, five more. That last one, I, I kind of held right on it and it hit it. So let's see if we can do that again. I heard a bunch of dings. Let's go check that group out. Oh man. So for the most part, I seem to have been hitting over here. And yeah, that's looks like three, maybe four. That right there might be two. Yeah. And then one right there. Not too shabby. First time shooting that gun at a hundred yards. It just takes a little while, you know, to uh sort of see where you're supposed to hold. I started off by holding down here, then I held up here. So once I realized, you know, you can kind of just hold right there, uh, my shots just fell into place. Man, there's, there's nothing um, more fun that I've done so far than uh, shooting 100 yards at this plate with iron sight guns. That's the 30-30, the uh, 22, now 7.62 by 39. Like, it, it is just a blast. So like I said earlier, I just love the SKS platform. It's just a simple rifle to use. To disassemble, it's very easy to. Um, you kind of just have this one little lever here that pulls up and out and allows you to uh, get
get in there, take care of your spring, take the bolt out, all that good stuff. Like it's just a very, very easy rifle to maintain too. They made a ton of them. There's no shortage of online communities that can tell you everything you need to know about your gun. Um, my only regret is that I missed out on the days uh, where I could get one of these for like 75 bucks. It's not my fault, you know. I wasn't thinking at the time. I was in sixth grade, so you know, uh, you miss out sometimes. But uh, it's a great rifle. I think it's a great woods rifle as well. But what do you guys think? Do you hunt with your SKS? Um, have you had much success hunting with your SKS? Uh, how would you compare it to uh, other big game uh, rifles? And how would you compare the 7.62x39 to other uh, big game cartridges? Or I should say medium game cartridges. Um, yeah, leave me a comment below. Let me know, uh, you know, when it gets closer to deer season, what kind of ammunition I should be looking out for if I'm planning to hunt with a rifle in this platform. Thanks again for stopping by. If you're not already, please do subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. We are at Yonder Oak, same as the channel name here. We post a lot of behind the scenes photos and videos, some food related stuff, and some short form content that just doesn't make its way over to YouTube. Thanks for stopping by.